William Johnson is dead, and with him, the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father... I know. You speak the words, but do you believe them? Seems we've company. What is it? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Guess you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? Mr. Revere's house in Boston. If you'd like, I can... not my townsfolk. What brings you to the road with the cart full of spirits for sale? We were innkeepers until the king took our inn for some military such and such left us out of our round box. Hey, you should settle here. We could use an inn. Good idea. <laughs> we would. But without the inn itself, we don't have much choice. And building one isn't cheap. We certainly have a need for something of the sort. I will speak with my friends at the mill and see what we can do about building ourselves one. If it can be arranged, would you consider ending your search here? Of course, Ollie. We'll have an inn again. This should suffice. Thank you. You won't regret this, Connor. We promise. Delicious, love. Connor, what brings you? I was passing by, and I thought I would stop in and see how you were faring. Well, that's nice of you. 
Well, my boy, we are faring very well. Between those who live here, the sailors coming and going from the pier, not to mention the travelers, our beds are always full and our taps are always flowing. I am pleased things have worked out for you here. As are we, Connor. I'd be lying if I told you we weren't worried when we were ousted from our old place. For the Lord works in mysterious ways. Gentlemen, you seem to be getting along. Oh, aye. We're just on our way to have an ale. <laughs> you might have noticed. I've got a bit of a temper problem. Oh, Diana's fine. The spuds are fine. They've got a good thing going on here. I'm just happy I didn't hurt old Godfrey. Wouldn't they have been able to forgive myself? So am I, Terry. So grateful you didn't poke me with your tiny fists. Do they rail me up? All right, all right, take it easy. I am happy things are well again. Karma, come with me downstairs. Should I search for something to fill that space? No rush. Eventually, the right piece will present itself. As you wish. There's a chest in a cave on the edge of the property. Could you retrieve it for me? I would go myself, but these old bones prevent me from getting to it. Take uh, Norris with you. The cave entrance is blocked with heavy stone and will need to be cleared one way or another. I'm going to fetch something for the old man. And he told me there might be some stone that requires clearing. Yeah? I will bring my explosive. Your yeah, is interesting. Certainly not your typical colonial woman. A deadly shot. She brought down that cougar. She is strong, capable. She has no weapon? Not that I'm aware of. I never met a woman like her before. I would like to know her better. You should speak to her then. I might try. Hey, don't splash. Don't want to get the powder wet. Do you think she likes Frenchmen? I see why he encouraged me to enlist your services. What problem? We blew it up. Be my guest. Ah, that's a nice one! Thank you. Give me. Doesn't look safe in there. Be careful. I'll be at the mine. And what you said about Miriam is interesting.
Ja, Mann. you asked for. I must know who put it there and for what purpose. I did. I put it somewhere I knew only I could reach, but that was a long time ago. Who does that belong to? These were the robes of the first assassin to come to the colonies. Norris. Um, you know Miriam? Of course. What does she like? I want to give her a gift. I really do not know. Uh, all right. Let me call on Prudence. She may be of service. Norris is trying to court a woman. What do you women like in terms of gifts? A nice bunch of wildflowers always brightens my day. Who is it Norris fancies? Best not say for now. Fair enough. Best ones are atop the bluff to the northwest. A bit tricky to get, but they grow large and healthy in the full sun. Are you in there? Uh, we? Oh. I will find you a little later then. No, no, it's all right. What is it?
Prudence advised a bunch of wild flowers. Really? Are you sure? It doesn't seem right. You ever played bowls? I see you are getting along again. Oh, I. <laughs> We're uh, always at each other for one thing or another, but more often than not, we work it out in the end. It's just the thought of my family threatened got me hot under the collar. And? Terry knows he couldn't beat me in a fight. You rat! That's why he built this bold pitch, so he could beat me at something. Still can't, though, can you, Terry? I was winning till Connor came along! Sure you were. I am happy with that. Oh, oh, you see that one? Many thanks for the game. Best shot since I started playing. That should do. Victory is sweet.